Good morning, everybody. Here we are together again. And today I'm gonna do uh, potato yolk. Uh, my wife asked me to, to cook a potato yolk with very, very little all-purpose flour in the dough. So let's see how that goes. And I also will try to make just a portion for one lunch for two people. That's a challenge. And uh, I will try to follow a basic recipe, but everything gonna be more or less um, on the quantity that I can manage and make yolk for two. So let's get the ingredients and start to cook. So I think I have everything I need for everything uh, associated to this dish. So we're gonna have potato, uh, I'm gonna peel the potato up, um, cook in boiled water, and then I'm gonna squeeze it, and I'm gonna mix with uh, a little bit of uh, uh, Romano uh, pecorino cheese, uh, seasoning with my day-to-day -day seasoning, uh, egg and flour, just a little to give uh, uh, the, the consistency that I want. Also, I will make a, uh, salsa, which is based in a tomato sauce with uh, this constructed Italian sausage, uh, which I will braise on butter, and then I will finish the sauce. So I'm gonna cook slowly, step by step, preparing everything, and you will see all the details going further. Let's cook together then. Okay, now we have uh, the potatoes, which I peel it off and I cut it small cubes, more or less the, the same size, so when I uh, cook this thing in the boiled water, cooks homogenized. And I'm gonna put this on fire, and while this is boiling and, and cooking the, the potato, I will prepare the sauce. So follow me in that process. Okay, first we're gonna braise the, this construction, this constructed uh, Italian sausage in butter. So this can be very tasteful. After we do this, we're gonna add the tomato sauce, which I prepared uh, previously. And this tomato sauce I, done my, I did myself and it's, of course, fresh tomatoes, basil, garlic, onion, uh, tomato paste, and I cook for, for a few minutes and it's ready to use. And this is gonna complete what I'm trying to accomplish here with the, the Italian sausage and the tomato sauce. Very good. The Italian sausage by itself already starts to smell really good. And here we are. Enough for that. And now we added the tomato sauce. Okay, let this thing work together. Oh my God, it's really looking good. So let's see how this thing is tasting. Perfect. I'm gonna turn this thing off and let it rest.
Okay, I think the potatoes are ready to go to have uh, so we can drain the water and get ready to complete uh, the dough process. Hot, 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 hot. So here, you're gonna pull down this thing a little bit. Otherwise, it's difficult to work with. I think I have enough potato. So let's move on. Okay, I think we are almost there with the consistency I want. As you notice, I add a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour. Uh, I would say a little bit more to finish it up. And I'm trying to keep it as little as I can so the flour does not overtake the potato. Okay. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. This thing for itself is already good. Imagine after done. You know what? I'm gonna finish up with the pecorino. And I'm gonna work this thing to cut also in the board with the uh, thin layer of uh, all-purpose flour um, in the bottom, so this thing don't stick to the wood board. Okay, looking good. So let's prepare the yolk. Okay, here we are in the last stretch, preparing the gnocch. Obviously, looks to me that I cook too much for two again, uh, which means I don't need that much potato, but now it's done, it's done. We're gonna have to keep in the refrigerator and eat gnocch for a couple of days, which is not bad. I just need to increase the sauce. Okay, here we are. Last stretch. It's not easy to handle the dough with a lot of potato and not much uh, flour. It's, it's not so consistent and dense, which make it difficult to, to keep the format and and be able to make the gnocch all uniform and exactly the same. But that's okay. Uh, special request from my wife, I cannot deny. Okie dokie, and here we have the gnocch ready to cook in boiling water. So I'm gonna make the water boil and then we're gonna cook the gnocch, and then we're gonna braise in butter, and then we're gonna finish with the sauce in the plate. So follow me, and let's do this together. A final touch with basil and is ready to eat. Voila, 
is looking perfect and beautiful. And I gotta tell you something, I tried before, and the potato gnoc is melting in the mouth. Bon appetit! I hope you enjoyed the video. Share with your family and friends. Subscribe and give me a like. I really appreciate your attention. Hope to see you here again.